Them dang spotted bass are mean. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Mean giant. Look at all them shad. Check out this little thing. Gotta call Hunter and show her this bad boy right here. Big and Stained up and super flat. Well, last time I went fishing, I think it got up to 96 degrees and that blast off it was 70. Today it's gonna get up to 66, that's the high. Look at this though. If anything is a good pick you up after a bad tournament, it is getting a tube full of brand new rods. So we're at Lake of the Ozarks now. Swung by and picked up some rods, had them at a, at a place and picked some up, got them shipped somewhere. And now Lake of the Ozarks got me a good jig rod. Got some cranking rods, it's all good. So let's go catch some bass on Lake of the Ozarks. Y'all stay tuned. So yesterday was my first day ever on Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, didn't have too bad of a day for our first day ever out here. We, uh, I don't know how much weight we would have had, not that much. We had three and a half, three and a quarter, probably a two and a half, and then some two pounders maybe. So whatever that equals. But anyways, today we're gonna try to find how to catch a four or five pounder and just see how good the pattern is that I found yesterday, if I can run all over the lake or not. So let's just try to catch us a few, see what's going on. I think I am pretty excited about this one. If it holds up for the tournament, it'll be a fun one. So good morning, everyone. It is the second day I've ever seen this lake before. So let's get the trolling motor in the water, toss around that little crankbait some more today, see if they're gonna bite it. Um, gonna try to change up colors a little. It's clearer down here. So I feel like I need to make it a little bit more of a natural, color so let's go see if they will bite it anyways I was stretching my back and my line took off. I mean took off. <laughs> Keeper. Pretty good one. I was just stretching, man. He interrupted me. heavy. in the side of the face. They can close their mouth, they can sure fight harder. Little one. Biting the crankbait though. There we go. Look at that thing it's down his throat. Jig hook coming out of his jaw over here. That's when you get the right jig. When they hook them like that. That's uh I don't know, two and a half, two and three quarters. Let's weigh them and see. 212. So 
that's the 212. About what I thought it was. So, yep. Not bad, not bad. I finally got one on this thing. I feel like I should have got a bunch of bikes on this, but I ha just haven't yet. Nice little keeper though. That's the biggest walleye I've caught by a long shot. Oh my goodness. He's a five and a half pounder. <laughs> I know most people would never throw that thing back, but I don't want him. I'm not going to clean him. Look at all them shad in the back of every single pocket. Let's see if I can polarize y'all. The air wear. Some big ones too. Look at this little thing. What mouth? I believe. I don't know. I don't really care what they are. They all about the same to me. But what? It I one.
Kollegen. Let me show Hunter. Hello, Kentucky. That little Kentucky cranking. So those species only have to be 12 inches. So those are all keepers, but we ain't looking for those. in a log jam and caught us one. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's about dark. So as y'all saw, day two of practice. Still caught some fish, but didn't catch any big ones. Still, I had one, probably three pound and a couple two and a halves. Uh, got a couple decent ones on video uh, that I caught that was not on video just for whatever reason I just was recording just didn't work out but seems like they're really on the main river they're not in the pockets hardly at all on the main river I get out there and I get some bites so looks like in the tournament we're going to be laying on them on the main river hopefully we can catch some out there so just gotta decide on which area exactly we want to fish so over the next two days that's what we're gonna be trying to accomplish okay so I was not in control of the videos, and that means Kyle was, and he, lo he lost the first practice day on Lake of the Ozarks, so we don't have the practice day for the first day, but we have the second, third, and fourth day. It was actually the best footage. I caught a big one on a buzz bait, like a three, three and a quarter, three and a half maybe, and then some big ones cranking. So it was actually unfortunate we lost that footage, but I remember the morning of the tournament, deleting an SD card and I have now found out that was the SD card that had the footage on it I thought I'd already transferred it, furred it to the computer I did not sorry about that but that's all we got now so we're gonna show y'all days two three and four of practice so this was day two check back for threes and four hit that subscribe button you need to watch day three and four and the tournament is coming up this week so see y'all